in the procedure, you'll note some dialogue about how they work, uh, what each band is, is worth. It's worth 0 0.00001157 inches or 11.57 billionths of an inch. When you place uh, an optical flat against a surface, you will either see bands or no bands. When you see one band, as noted here, figure 11.16, one band of error equals 11.7 millionths if viewed at a 90 degree angle to the flat. If you had 2.2 uh, bands of curvature, that would be a 2.2 .2 error equals approximately 25.5 uh, millionths. Looking at the first page, you can see how that's calculated. Like if this was three bands times 11.57 millionths of an inch, that would equal uh, 35 millionths of an inch. Reading through the procedure for measuring with an optical flat, make sure that the surface of the workpiece has no burrs or necks because that would hold the flat off of the part. Uh, remove any dust that may be on the workpiece or the optical flat. Uh, gently place the optical flat onto the workpiece surface with the arrows against the surface. See the arrows? Uh, look for the interface interference bands and observe the bands perpendicular to the flat and from a distance of 10 times the diameter of the flat being used or roughly at your at your stomach level up to your face uh, and then compare the different surfaces uh, with the different size gauge blocks in this case. Surface number one is just a standard piece of coal roll. You can see it's got a little bit of rust on it. Uh, I have already cleaned the, the surfaces to place the optical flat against the part. Looking at the part at roughly 10 times, we kind of move the optical flat around and we'll notice that we cannot observe any bands. Write that down on your form right here. Just put a dash. Don't forget on your form to add your name and date. Moving on to the second part, we have the 0.250 gauge block. We place it down and then we, we rotate it and move it around and we try to see if there are any bands. If, it may be hard to see on the camera, but very fine bands can be observed and they look very straight. Uh, going to a side surface, no bands are observable. And you'll notice the difference between the two surfaces. This is ground, and this is ground and polished. So the polished is more flat than the other because we have we can see the bands. I would write down, uh, since it's one band, it's hard to tell. I write down one band, which would be 11.57, and that would account for a million right here. On the 0.35, or excuse me, 0 0.300 gauge block, if you move the part around and rotate, you'll notice that the lines are rotating. You want to get the lines to where they're in line with the part. In this particular case, I can see like one band that's overlapping in a convex shape. So I would write down 11.57 fairly interesting how that works. I hope you can pick that up with a camera. To save time, the lab has been completed. Please record these values in your spreadsheet. A dash on WP uh, number 1, 11.57 on 0.250, 11.57 on 0 0.30 gauge block, 0 0.350 is 23.14. In other words, I could see three bands. I couldn't detect on the 400 gauge block very well if there was any uh, non-flatness, so it, the, the bands were very straight. 11.57 uh, on 0.45 gauge block, and then the same on uh, 500, I could not detect any uh, non-flatness. Uh, please fill in, WP number one was rough, couldn't see bands because the surface was not flat. And then tell me what you think of this kind of lab right here in this section.